last video tutorial on test on proportions. In this video tutorial, we're going to work on figuring out how to get SAS to test the, the differences in proportions for us. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is get our data into SAS. So we're going to do a data statement. I'm just going to call it data one right now. Uh, we're going to manually put this in because often it's just a few numbers anyway. So I just need to put in what I'm going to have my uh, variables be, and I'm going to have gender and then I'm going to have obese, and then I'm going to have N. Okay, so this says uh, that what the gender is, male or female. Now, that's a text variable, right, male or female. So I'm going to put a dollar sign after it, if you remember from our previous video where we talked about manually inputting data into SAS. And obese is a Y or an N, so that is actually text as well. So I'm going to put a dollar sign there. Now, N is the actual count of people in the group. So that's a number, so we're not going to put a dollar sign. Okay, so the next thing we need to put is data lines so that we can begin put entering in our data. So here I have male, and I'm going to put a couple spaces in here so we have room for female. That way everything lines up. So I'm going to say the males who are obese, how many of them were there? Out of our group, there were 432 in our data set. Female, and we're going to organize it again. Why? The females that said yes were 414, the number of males who said no. Now, this is not the total sample size. When I add the two together, I get the total sample size. So just keep that in mind. You're not putting in the total sample size. So there were 634 of them. And for female that said no or were not obese, there were 672 of them. Okay, so this is the end of my data set. That's all the information that I have. So I'm going to put my semicolon, and then I'm going to run this so that I create a data set that has the information in it. So when I run this, uh, I can come over here, look through my libraries, look through work, and here's data one. And notice it has the values I just put in here. Notice that these are left justified, meaning they're text, and this is right justified, meaning it's a number. All right, so now we actually have to do the test. So to do this, we're gonna use what's called Proc Freak, or that's uh, the affectionate name for it. So yet another procedure to learn. So the data that we're gonna use in this is gonna be data one. And we're also going to do order. We're gonna order our data so that it's easy for SAS to deal with. Um, it, does, it is weighted, remember that this data is not equal sample size, right? If you add these two together, you're gonna to get that the sample sizes of men and women are different. So our weight is going to be N and that's what we're gonna check against. And then we're gonna create some tables. And this table is going to give us uh, information about the, the relationship. It's basically gonna reorganize what we have already into a table format. And then it'll also produce a chi-squared test. So here I'm gonna do gender star obese okay so a gender by obesity i want to put a slash and then a chi square which is our favorite abbreviation for statisticians for chi squared if you haven't noticed uh and then we're going to run this and we're going to see what it produces so i have the data set already in i'm going to run this proc freak and this should give us some output. All right, so it gave us a lot of output. Notice the sample size is 2,152. That's what the information we get there. And this is the table that we have. We had 432 males that were obese. We had 634 who were not. So there's 1,066 of them who are totally, are just the males. 414 obese females. 672, not obese female, so of healthy weight. And this is uh, 1,086. And you can see these are, it gives a, a key over here. So the second one is the percent overall in the total data set. This is the percent by row, and this is percents by column. And so it gives you all the information you want to know there. Now, what we're really interested in is looking for these tests. And there's several tests here that you can use. Uh, but this is the one we're after, the chi-squared test for uh, tests on proportions. That's how we're going to get it out of SAS. And notice that this p-value is 0 0.02537. So unless you're willing to be wrong 25% of the time, you probably wouldn't conclude that the obesity rates between male and female are different. 
Uh, and But remember that these are approximate tests. Now, if you come down here to Fisher's exact test, uh, which can sometimes take a long time to run, it does give a different probability. Uh, and it's checking the 1-1 one, one cell frequency. So a two-sided test uh, is equal to 2.2699. So the approximation is really close. Uh, here, you should just be worried about whether or not this is a good p-value because it's actually the exact one compared to the approximate one. So in this case, we would not reject our null hypothesis uh, and we would assume that males and females have the same rate of ob obesity. Okay, so this is pretty simple to do and now we can move on to the next video.